Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our monthly meeting here at 25 Hour Fitness. We got a few things to discuss, so let's get into it. Last month, we did pretty good on the numbers, but I think we can do better. So anybody got any revenue generating ideas? Anybody? Ooh, how about we like start selling juice detoxes? But juice detoxes are completely dishonest. They're just ordinary juice that don't do anything for our clients. Hey, as long as the margins are good, I'm on board with selling juice detoxes. Chad, I've noticed my selfies get a lot more likes than educational content on Instagram. So I'm like thinking for our gym's marketing, we should post pantsless and shirtless pictures to attract customers. I like totally agree with Chad. But those pictures don't actually help people. We should focus more on actually helping people instead of posing like thirst trap models. I'm not so sure about that idea, but Chad has the biggest Instagram following, so I'm gonna go with him. Sorry, Calvin. Anyways, let's talk nutrition. Anybody got any diet ideas to improve our clients' results and ultimately make us more money? Randy, let's promote a 30-day paleo challenge. Why? Because paleo is like totally awesome, and when you add an arbitrary number in front of it, people are more likely to pay for it. I like where your head's at, Randy. Let's do a 30-day paleo challenge. Ooh, can we like do a 30-day vegan challenge too? Why would we do a vegan challenge? The average person struggles with eating enough protein as it is. The vegan diet just makes that harder. Shut up, Calvin. The vegan diet is like totally trendy right now. I do like capitalizing on trends. Let's do this instead. Let's do the 30-day vegan challenge first, then the 30-day paleo challenge right after. Any more nutrition ideas? Calvin, how about we do custom nutrition plans instead of universal diets? With a custom plan, the client is more likely to enjoy it and stick to it consistently. Nothing extreme, nothing crazy, just a custom plan for each individual client. Nah, that's just too boring, Calvin. Let's move on. Anybody got any training ideas that we can you know, implement? Any new ideas? Randy. Yeah, I think we should buy more BOSU balls. Nothing gets our clients more functional results than standing on wobbly surfaces. BOSU balls aren't even functional. If anything, they're just needlessly dangerous. Last I checked, Randy, three of your clients are in the hospital because you made them do one-legged squats on a BOSU. Calvin, since you're being a bit critical, do you have any suggestions on how we can improve training our clients? I think we should take a scientific approach to this. We should look at what science tells us is best and then adjust it towards each individual client. That way, the client enjoys it enough to where they can do it consistently without sacrificing effectiveness. In general, each program will look different for each client, but BOSUs will never be needed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be an idiot, Calvin. The BOSU is the most important training tool in all of existence. It's necessary for functional training. Functional training sucks, bro. It's all about bodybuilding. Nothing matters more than creating veins and making gains. You're such a tool, Chad. Nobody likes you or your bro style of training. You're just jealous that your bicep is not as big as mine. Well, Chad, our biceps might not be as big as yours, but at least I have the mobility to wipe my own butt. You'd probably benefit from taking one of my yoga classes, you stupid meathead. Shut up, Becky. You're just mad because my chest is real and your chest is fake. Ah! You did not just go there. Thanks a lot, Calvin. Look what you started.